the sort of new. I don't know if you guys heard me mention, if you watched my last video, you'll know I mentioned I was getting a new background sort of thing. So I went for something pretty and shiny. But <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to do a festival look today because I've seen quite a lot of these and tells me I love watching these. I think they're really cool because everyone's different. And I have actually been using this look for work. That fucking face is, oh my god. It's been doing it all week to me since you last saw me film. But anyway. Yeah, I've seen loads of people do these and I really enjoy watching them. And I have actually used this look out and about. Like when I go to the pub with Polly, I use it just because it's a little bit different and sort of, I'd say summery. But yeah, let's get started. So with this look, I don't actually like to use foundation because I like to have that natural like sort of dewy look or glow, should I say. So I'm going to go in with a Maybelline BB cream and I've literally got like none left of this so it's very depressing. But this seems to just cover up really well for like summertime. I mean my skin has been so good all summer because I've barely worn foundation. I don't see a point when it melts off in the heat. Literally. I saw when I went to Fort Park a couple of weeks ago, all I saw was girls in full faces of makeup and eyelashes. I'm like, how do you do it? You're going on water rides and stuff like you know. I still wouldn't, even if I had fucking good ass setting spray, I still wouldn't. I don't really use setting spray, not gonna lie. Hack, use hairspray, might scrub your skin a bit. No, don't use hairspray, it's bad for skin. But a lot of people do. So that is my foundation or base done. But I don't mind concealer or anything with it, so yeah. On to brows, just to update you guys, I have a really cheap brow kit at the moment because my dip brow dried out and it keeps doing it, so I just bought a new one. Um, so I'm going in with the Natural Collection brow kit, which is like a powder one. And a wax one. This was 250. You also get a spoolie in the brush with it. And I'm also going to use the Ruby Cosmetics powder, like brow powder, just to fill them in a bit because it's a little bit darker. Um, thank you, Ruby Cosmetics, for sending me that. There we go. So some eyebrows. So next, I'm going to go on to eyeshadow. Eyeshadow. I'm just going to do my usual. Oh, fuck my brow. Yeah, basically, I couldn't talk easier. So <coughs> my teaser's broke. I'm going to go in with the Modern Renaissance and I'm going to use Royal Sienna which is like a browny yellowy tone, it's really weird and just a little technique stone brush I'm going to go in with Burnt Orange Burnt Orange guys, I'm just being a dick I'm gonna go in with a bit of real girl. It's like this really it's like a darker orange basically. using Too Faced Sweet Peach palette because this is one of my favourites too and I'm going to use Just Peachy and Can Candy Peach these two little like orangey pinky colours so you can see me for me but I'm just going to use like I'm using my fingers for this because I hate using brushes on that part of my eye I'm literally going over it with Candy Peach and then over the top of that with Just Peachy because it's a little bit pale, more of a pale orange and it just gives you a nice little like ombre sort of look but I'm not finished that but I absolutely love this palette too, I've been staying by this I'm going to go over the top of it with a nectar which is like a creamy, glittery, like shimmery colour I'm just going to go over the top but not all the way, just the front so like just here so it lightens it a bit just so it brightens it, makes it more happy. I'm gonna go with, oh my god, the name's rubbing off, Love Letter. I thought the name's rubbing off, they were right at the bottom, I'm such a dick. Going with Love Letter, underneath. So like, just a little dash of pink, like a hint. 
I want it just to walk around there, it's in the top of the chair. But I really like that look. Mascara, I'm using the L'Oreal Million Dollar Lashes, which is a really good mascara. I've been living by it again recently. I'm gonna go on to the Maybelline Lash Sensational. This is actually the one with oil in it, which I prefer the original because I just like the brush better. This one's more weird and it's like stubbly, like plasticky. I think I'm pretty sure the other one's more got more hairs or it's just got more fibres on it, and I just prefer it. But Mum gifted me for this one, and I couldn't complain because it is a Maybelline Lash Sensational. So I thought, you know, I'll give it a go. It ain't too bad, but you have to be very careful. I've got the clump shot eyelashes up. So that is my eyeshadow done. On to highlighter, I'm going on with. I just need to pick up my modern and I'm using that as a mirror, I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, I'm dressed your skin in iridescent, iridescent gold. This is actually the original one. So I'm gonna go in this because sort of just. I didn't want to mash up the colours too much, you'll see why in a minute. And sort of just. I go up here as well. Because with this look, you sort of. As long as looks you want to. But this highlight was £3 and it is fucking brilliant. But like I prefer it over a lot of high end ones. So if you can get hold of it, then please do because it's very, very good. So that is how look at it. Right, damn. I'm also going in with the e.l.f. shimmer, which is a similar colour, but a little bit more yellow toned. But I really like this too. It's just got a bit more glitter in it. So I'm just going to pop that over the top a tiny bit. Okay, I'm probably really popping right now. Oh well. So, on to the next part. One of the final parts. I am using Glitter Fix Gel. This is actually the Stargazer one. And I'm going to pop some glitter down here. It's going to look sick, guys. But I'm going to use gold glitter. I actually don't know where I got this gold glitter from. Because I get mine from all over the place. Like, I'm not going to lie. I've got some of mine off AliExpress. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. Yeah, I've got some mine off there, um, eBay, uh, Boots, Superdrug, anywhere I can get hold of it. A place called Just Essentials near me, they do it, and they do it really cheap as well. This sort of gives, looks really good in like lights and stuff. The amount of people that have commented on my um, glitter, like, oh my god, it looks so good. Like when I've been out and about and stuff. So, yeah. The only thing is, I would say use some sort of setting spray with this, because it does sweat off throughout the day. I did find that out when I went out, like... I went to a UV party and I went clubbing and stuff. Obviously you guys know I am 20, so yeah, I love doing all this. It is kind of fun as well. I really did enjoy making these looks, although it's probably a really common look to have glitter on the side of your face. I mixed up with some pink, but I can't say I was like too much of a fan of it. Anyways, final part, I'm going in with Max Lipstick in Underworld, which is like an orangey pink tone. And I love it. I lived by this last year. If you've watched my channel since last year, you'll know. And this is your final look. See, so look, the glitter just gives off a really nice look. I'm going to leave my hair how it is. A little bit crazy. My hair is growing out so much. Yay. So here's the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Give it a big thumbs up. Go press subscribe because I am posting regularly again. And things are just going to get more and more exciting throughout the year. I know it's nearly the end of the year, but I have quite a lot of ideas in mind for Christmas, for autumn, and yeah, I'm really excited to show you guys, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this makeup look. I can always try and link the majority of the products down below, or like, I can always name them so you guys can have a look around for them, but yeah, I will see you guys on Wednesday.